So, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex one here, and today, guys, I'm with the Pen God himself. Yeah. What's Steven. good, boys? Steven, what's going on, bro? What's Yo, going on? Chilling, bro. And today, guys, we're gonna be making a Bandless prediction video because I know you guys all love videos like this, and I'm telling you right now, Bandless is around the corner. It's gonna be in the August. I can bet you five bucks, Steven. That's gonna be in August. Do you August? disagree? Yeah. You bro, disagree I bet you. I bet you ten bucks. I bet you a whole deadlift session. So this was done by the September. Yeah. September. September. September, right. bro. Okay. So I know, bro. Konami. Konami don't. Konami don't care about us, bro. Listen. They don't care about us. Yes. They I don't know. Don't I care about this fire wall loop things. They don't care about that. They want to see us suffer with Goki combos, and I am not stand for that, bro. bro. I'm so tired of Goki, man. Goki is probably like one of the most played decks right now. Bro, it's almost as good as Pendulums, man. Almost as good, or is it better? Almost. Uh, last year, I actually did a video with Gabe uh, on the banlist prediction, but this year we have Steven here uh, to actually feature for this banlist video. Yo, do you think you, you do better than Gabe? Well, like, obviously. <laughs> This video, guys, remember, it is just a prediction. So it's just our opinions of what we think is going to get banned, get hit, get limited, get semi-limited. It's all up to personal preference, and it's all up to their own, you know, thoughts. And But at the end of the day, when two of the smartest Yu-Gi-Oh! minds of the planet make a prediction video, it's bound to happen anyway. So you can consider this the actual ban list. <laughs> yeah. Without further ado, let's get started, Steven. Off the bat, let's, let's start all with right, the ban. So this one requires absolutely zero explanation. I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to say, I'm, not, I'm just going to say it. Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon. Right. Yeah. Yo, F that card. F Bro, that card. It's a protagonist, right? It's a protagonist. Yo, who? Yo, I don't give a crap if it's an ace monster. If it's, I don't care if Playmaker plays it. I don't care if anyone. Bro, I don't care if it's it. Yugi Moto himself. We're banning that, bro. I don't care. Yo, that's degenerate. I don't know if uh, you guys are caught up into the meta or anything, but have you seen the combos that that card can do? Firewall Dragon literally says, "I'm gonna beat you on the mat and off the mat and take your girl while I'm at it." Like, wow, it's too good. It's Not only does it let you special in monsters from your hand multiple times in one turn, but it recycles up to how many cards, whatever. That's what to I it. mean. So if it's going like, to three, you get to bounce three cards from your graveyard or field to your hand. Yes, and it's not once per turn. Like that's insane, bro. Didn't you? Uh, didn't you make up a combo where you played Exodia? Oh, uh, one sec, guys. A girl's messaging me. Bro, didn't you make a, a, a combo video where you, you abuse Fireball Dragon like five times in one turn just to bounce all five pieces of Exodia back to your hand? Yes, but it's not just one video. Bro. I mean, like five videos like that. Like it's literally like. Firewall Dragon allows like 10 FTKs out there. The bad Firewall, no FTKs. No FTK, yeah. exactly. Like, and uh, if they wanted to new Goki, like just hit the freaking Firewall. Because without Firewall, like the deck is, is, is very hard to actually combo off, especially making like like the U-Link board, correct? Yes, because Electrum also needs to get banned. By the way, you gotta put respect on the greatest card on the planet's name. But well, like, from the Pendulum God, you think Electrum might should get banned? Well, like you gotta put respect on the greatest card in history. You yeah. gotta put respect on it. Yo, Pendulum yo, will still be the best deck without Electrum. We don't even need Electrum, but you gotta put respect on his name, bro. So it needs to get banned. But but after I tested and realized Pendulums were the greatest deck in history even without Electrum, I thought let's check out Goki and see what they could do with a Firewall. Nothing. And I just ended up doing garbage. It's still like nightmares, but no like real extra things with Trigate. Right. right like right. it's not it's uh, boards that could be easily beaten. Right. Like, it's extremely soft. But with Firewall, it enables way too much stuff. The extra link like, and also. Dangers can FTK. Like, Dangers are a garbage deck. I don't care if you like Dangers. They are the most overhyped deck on the planet. But <laughs> with Firewall, they could FTK you with Cannon Soldier. Sure. You want to ban Cannon Soldier? Sure. Shadow <laughs> of Priestess Old, whatever that card's called. That's the exact same thing. So Firewall needs to go, bro. It needs to go immediately. And, and I think, I don't care what anyone says. And I'm pretty sure you guys should be agreeing with this uh, with us as well. But Firewall is one of the most powerful cards in the game. It's actually one of the most, like, it's the best ace monster ever made. Hands Whoa. down. Yo. All dice Pendulum Dragon, you're trash. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> if they don't hit Firewall Dragon, if they don't hit Firewall Dragon, I think the next best best hit to hit, to, to bend, is Goblin. So I was thinking about that. Because I did try some Goki combos with Firewall, but Goblin being banned, you can make... You can still make Gumblar, but your hand needs to be very, very broken. And at the same time, you need more extenders in your hand to actually go off. There's an issue with that. What's the issue? Everyone evolves. Okay. What do you mean? Astro Band, we evolve. Okay. Venom Band, we evolve. Uh, evolve might be the wrong word. We revolutionize. <laughs> We thought we used our brains a little. Okay. And so with Goki, there's so many good cards you could play in that deck that people haven't even started uh, scratching the surface of what cards you could play. Correct. Look at Jesse Cotton. This guy, I've got the card, the dinosaur card. It's the, a free summon. Yeah, Gilosaurus. Three fossil digs, three Gilosaurus. That's six. Those six free, completely free monsters on board at any time. Those are six new extenders. Added three instant fusion. 
9 extenders, Reborn, 10 extenders, Soul Charge, 11 extenders, Living Fossil, 12 extenders, they now have a, the Trap card, 14 extenders, they have 14 extenders, Goblin? Sure, get rid of Goblin. Now you have a Nightmare U board, with, but things can be targeted with a Trigate. That's still too good. So firewall, is still just, too so firewall good. is the main problem. It is. What they if they actually want to take care of they're not gonna do this, but ban goblin, ban Phoenix. Phoenix Blade? Yes. Phoenix Blade. No, sorry, not sense. Phoenix Blade, sorry. The two nightmares. Ban two nightmares. What? Yeah. You will ban two nightmares. The, if you don't ban firewall, you gotta ban two or three nightmares. Holy crap. And so you're not gonna do that because the nightmares are average. You're right, you're right. right. Just ban firewall. Make life so easy, ban cool money. What do you think about like the generic addition of normal summon though? Like for example, Seraphonite, you need to play Garnet and Brilliant Fusion to summon Seraphonite. But Goblin enables you to actually summon itself fairly easily by just using two monsters that has obviously different names. But it's a free generic, you know. Link to monster, which allows you to draw one card if it's co-linked, and at the same time gives you the additional normal summon. Well, you're right. You're right. Like it's amazing in, in that it's amazing. It's amazing, but, but you don't think it's bad worthy. I don't know if they made. They didn't make it. Uh, you might as well. Desires is a plus one. Let's ban. Let's ban okay. desires. You know, like, you're right, you're like, right, you're like right. Goblin's a great card. Totally but not it's not worthy. worthy. Not bad worthy. But if Firewall doesn't get banned, Goblin's like, one million, million percent. You can put money on it, the Goblin's gone if Firewall doesn't leave. Right. The next card I want to talk about, yeah. I really think should get banned. I don't know if you would agree with me, but Scapegoat. <laughs> Yo, go, I need to come back. <laughs> what should sooner get banned? What? Black Fang Magician. Scapegoat sucks. If you lose to Scapegoat, go play a different game. DC is fun. Go play some DC. You ever played Marvel? That's a fun game too. Go play some Marvel. Go watch a movie. Don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yo, cause Scapegoat sucks, bro. Bro, you, you don't, you don't bro, respect, don't even play bro. You don't even respect the sheer power of Scapegoat. It's a one card Link Four, Steven. Whoa. It's a one card that allows you to make Link Karibo, Phoenix, Pop One, Mix Unicorn, Bounce One, at the same time you're also drawing Go ahead. Act off one card. Sure. Activate Scapegoat. Narito, since I can now put up my board. Okay. Totem bird. But not everyone plays. Try gates. Not everyone plays your deck, Steven. Not, not everybody has negates. But okay, we're no, we're talking about generalizing this. We're, 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 you want to know what I'd rather play than Scapegoat? What? Effect Valor. Wanna know what else I'd rather Guys. play than Scapegoat? DD Crow. Oh my god. Wanna know what else I'd rather play? The, the disrespect. Any hand trap in the world. Guys, the because disrespect. You gotta wait a whole turn. That's getting popped. Nice. I don't even. Goat sucks. I don't even play Scapegoat in Goat format. Stop. Okay, yo, he's lying. Alright, we're done the nah, conversation. Nah, nah, nah. Not, okay, see, anyways. I don't play garbage. See, I'm not a sheep. No, no, drop, drop, drop the Goat conversation. We. Okay. I don't play Goat, bro. But yeah, yeah. Listen. Uh, um, a card that lets you generate four tokens that makes you multiple link monsters for absolutely free. You think in your personal pain is trash. Okay, no. okay don't, don't 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 be biased for a second. Sure. Take yourself from like let's say you're not a pendulum player, pretend yet you're actually facing an escape goat. Sure. A card like that that lets you make something like that. You don't think it's broken enough to get. Sure, there. I'll be a goki player. What's your scapegoat doing when I OTK you anyways? That scapegoat could have been an extra effect Valor, and that extra effect Valor could have been end your turn. Okay, anyways, right? all right guys, so my personal opinion, I think that card is too broken to stay in the meta, but Steven says it sucks. Let me know in your comment section below what get you think. Get good, bro, get good. <laughs> okay, all right, so scapegoat. The next card I wanna talk about, the next card, reincarnation. Yeah, I don't know what. You know should get banned. Yeah, anything that anytime we talk about strict stars, anytime we talk about strict stars, you automatically just say the deck is shit. Bro, you know what should get banned? What? Wind up shark. <laughs> Steven, Steven. What? Seriously, re reincarnation needs to get banned, man. Shark should sooner get banned than reincarnation, <laughs> guys. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm nice so Meg one in reincarnation. Oh my god. All right. Anyways, you know what? Okay. Reincarnation broken. Reincarnation draw should never exist. Trickstar, Trickstar likes. I'm gonna do all the talking. Candida light stage are irrelevant. It's only freaking uh, reincarnation. If reincarnation gets banned, uh, get, oh, oh, not banned, or maybe limit to one. I pray to the Yu-Gi-Oh Lord and Yu-Gi-Oh God myself that reincarnation does not even get touched. Because that means more people, like probably you watching, is gonna play Trickstars and just free more free wins for me. 
Let's go. Like, okay. bring it on. Okay, that's let's, also why I want okay. Cherubini to come out because it's more easy W's for me. Okay. Because uh, BA suck as I well as Steven, Listen, Steven, I, I know you're the greatest player of all time. Well, yeah, though. Right. Insightful discussion. We have to talk about other people, not just you. So we have to think about how cards in Yu Gi Oh right now can balance the game thus far. So think about it. Do you Bro, really think reincarnation should get hit? My not, honest not, opinion. Not, not because you're the pen god and that you think trick stars suck. But in general, like g generalizing everything, be like, you know what? F f we're, like where the game is at right now, the broken draw reincarnation combo, how Konami should balance the meta. Do you really think reincarnation get, should get hit? That's how we should, you know, look. At, look do you think it should get hit? Trick stars are complete ass. Okay, and let's see. This is not gonna work. All right, trick star reincarnation. My opinion, banned or limit to one, and yours. You can just stay at three. The trick star deck can just be at full power. Put it to five. Bro, we did forget a very important card, bro. What card? Okay, okay, so what card do you want to Phoenix, play? Phoenix, Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade. Stop, yeah. stop. Yeah. Yo, no. Do you know no. what that does with the Soul Day and the Nightmares, bro? Right, guess what? Nice plus four. With, like, if they hit the Firewall, the Phoenix Blade will be irrelevant. It doesn't matter. They can still ex they can still Gumblar Loop and the U Lock without the Phoenix Blade. They can still do that. Because you know why? They have the Nightmare Draws. So Nightmare Draws, they draw, they pitch. That's they can still do the exact same thing. Three cards you're missing, bro. Doesn't matter. They still have the U and the Gumblar loop without the three blade. Three cards, bro. I know, but I'm saying Doesn't Firewall matter. and that gotta get banned, bro. Okay, that's your opinion, but I, I really think that as soon as... That, you're right. Firewall fixes all the problems. I, like, just ban Firewall, I don't care what else gets... Just, New ban list, ban firewall, nothing else. Nothing else, that. and and, and then like the, the whole format is uh, actually no, that's not fair. Ban Electrum too, because that just won't be fair. Okay, awesome. No. What do you think about uh, Galaxy Tomahawk? Talk about scape go giving four tokens. What about a searchable way to bring out six? Well, five tokens of the Tomahawk on field. Oh no, no, that's right, that's right. right? Well, well, well. To be fair, if, if if I'm actually putting scapegoat on the list to generate four tokens, it's actually fair enough to put Tomahawk on there. But scapegoat, well. you have to go second. You have to go second. You have to hard draw it. Tomahawk, you're playing a level seven deck. You can be the dangers are actually half decent with the tomahawk. Yeah, it's like you can put mermails or it can be a thing too. Right. It's like uh, just at ease you could bait out everything and then your very last play tomahawk, tomahawk. with summon but, sorcerers bring up more stuff. Cannon I, soldier, you know. But the, the the thing about Konami hitting cards is that they usually hit cards that are just super relevant in the meta right now to balance the game. Sure, tomahawk is a very broken card, but right now we haven't seen any too many decks that, especially ranks level rank seven decks that can. Generate tomahawk. Yes, decks like dark magician, decks like danger, and, and all that can can. can. Bro, bro, what the heck was that? This guy's literally checking himself out. <laughs> it's not relevant yet, so that's why I'm not. I'm, I don't want to talk about it, but I do understand your standpoint. The next card that I do want to talk about, uh, you know, being limited, like limited. What card do you want? Do you, do you see limited? Like, so, you said, so we're definitely done with bands, the right? Le now bands, limited, right? limited. Okay, so if this doesn't happen, I'm not just saying because I play the deck. Electrum has to get limited. Okay, it is so too powerful. I, I'm not. I'm not too much into uh, pendulums. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. not the greatest pendulum player. So I want you to explain why you think. Okay. In the most smart, smart way possible, why you think Electrum should get limited. Ban firewall. If Electrum stays to three, I personally guarantee you that if you're not playing pendulums, you lose. I guarantee it. Pendulums still put up FTKs in the sense that you have five negates first turn easy through any hand trap with three Electrums. Bring it down to one. The five now turns to three. It is still the best deck, but it's not overpowered. And I'm not saying this with any bias whatsoever. So easy to bring out three negates that is unfair, even with one Electrum. Yeah. Three Electrums makes it go by like this. It needs, if they don't do that, I will, if they limit Reincarnation and not Electrum, I'm done. Bro, I'm emailing Komani Col and saying, I actually, nice. I might say thank you for letting me destroy the meta even easier. So you're saying, that, so you're saying that if Electrum is at three still, and all those decks are dead, like Firewall and everything, <laughs> you're winning multiple YCSs. YCS is, I'm going to Worlds and winning with my eyes closed. I think next card I'll talk about is Terraforming. I was thinking about Terraforming. In, 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 my, in my personal opinion, I feel like you know having any generic search card that's just really easily accessible to almost any single deck that plays field spells, I think that's just too consistent for that right now. You know what, I think you're right. You see, uh, a while ago, I posted on Zodiac one time just for fun, it's like uh, my balance prediction. I put Terraforming down. Like, I thought Terraforming should get limited. Cause, but then I thought about it, a lot of people left some remarks and stuff. A terraforming was actually never banned before. Or limited, sorry, it was never limited before. It was never limited before. I never knew that. I thought it was 100% limited. Like, cards like that, like Rhoda, cards that like generically search almost anything, should be limited. And also, like, think about it, play three uh, terraformings and also a three field spell or multiple field spells in your deck, you know, obviously more than three. Terraforming essentially becomes Upstart Goblin. 
Yeah. Because you're literally thinning out your deck by three. So yeah. you play a 40 card deck, you play like, let's say, six field spells, three terraformings, yeah. three terraformings, upstart goblin. And how many field spells are broken right now? Really broken. Unit hanger. Unit hanger, like, it's still very broken. I'm a big believer in ABCs, bro. I think ABCs are a great deck. It's broken. Very broken. Uh, what else? Like, you have, like, light stage. Light, well, light stage should be irrelevant after. <laughs> Okay, so what about some good decks? Like, what do you think? Like, engage? I was gonna say engage. Okay, do you think engage or Hornet is gonna hit? Personally, for knowing Konami and the way that they want to push out new decks, especially that Needle Fiber is not even out yet, Side Strikers are not gonna get touched. They're not gonna get touched at all on the balance. I can personally guarantee you. You know what? You know why? Do you think? Do you see the new OTS? Kagari? Do you really think? <laughs> do you really think Konami's gonna hit Engage and Hornet to one no with, the, with the OT Kagari right now? No chance. No, no chance. chance like, and and I can vouch for that hundred percent. Like, like, I'll bet you five bucks. They're not, they're not getting touched. Like, it's, it's not. Like, guaranteed. No matter how. Yes, obviously, I personally think Engage should go to one. I think Hornet should go to one. I think the deck should get hit because of how consistent it is. Engage is essentially a pot of greed if you have three, three spells in Grave. The, especially if you have multiples. You know what I mean? So, with the OT Kagari, hell no, bro. No, no. Not right See, now. I would take you up on that bet, but I don't want to lose five bucks. It's too easy. Like, That's very easy. Like, so. none of that's getting a hit for now. For now. It's for 100% now. eventually going to get limited or banned or whatever. Limited. I think they're both going to one eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, but, not yet. Like, they're going to push a lot of stuff. For limited draw? No. Nah. Like, like, well, I personally think if reincarnation dies, like, it gets banned. I think just one. keep all the trick star cards, limit draw to one. No, bro. Trickstars has been on for too long. You have to understand that, like, the way that Konami does, they're trying to flush out old decks and bring out new decks, right? I know, but, like, wind have been around for a while, too. Yeah, but the deck is irrelevant because it's a Mighty's band. It's better than Trickstars. Your thoughts? Anything else? I have one. What? You ready? Wait, wait, for limited? Yeah. What is it? For limited. I might get flack for this. Zodiac Broadbow. Yo. It's coming back, bro. Yo, one of the Zodiac here, cards bro. are coming get, back. Yo, get out of here. Get out of here. One of them are coming yo, back. Get out of here. Get out of no, here. No, I love Zeus, bro. Okay, just because you love it. Okay, remember I said, bandless prediction. Bandless prediction. We have to be logical and smart. It is logical. One card always comes back. There's going to be some card that comes back. Great. One, no I drive. That's why I see that searches yeah. any Beast Warrior monster directly yeah. from your hand. Yeah. You think should come back into the game. Yes. Next. All right. Let's. No, no, no. Imagine okay. the power, bro. Leica turned into a free link to. Why would Konami and a free do that? Oh, why would Konami do oh, that? Oh, imagine. That, no, that's not. No, yeah, we're definitely. I would getting, actually play Zoo Striker. We're getting flagged for this for sure, 100. percent Anyways, let's off to the next one. Limited. Yep. Tried it. Okay. Next one. Something straddles. Else. Straddles. Yeah. Let's bring what back one of them. Straddle. Bring back straddles construct. Come back. Constructs is not worthy of coming back. You, you, like, I, I'm trying, it's, good, it's a good card, it's a good card. <laughs> so the like, Constructs can come back, can come back, Stratos can come back. Shrit, wait, is Shrit at one right now? Or is Shrit's Ben? Here. I don't even know, bro. I don't like, no, pay Shrit's attention to, uh, I don't pay attention to relevant decks, but... Yeah, like, sure, if it, like, it's sure it's good. I'm pretty sure it's at one, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's Ben here. It's Ben? It's Ben the one, whatever. Yeah, wow. That, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll have to address for the, the, the limited parts. I, I personally see that Dinosaurs might get hit. But even I though, know. like, I, I I don't know. I just have this huge, I, I, I don't know. Maybe O-Raptor might get hit. I, I don't know. Even though it's, like, it's, it's not too meta-relevant. But it's just, like, one of those things that Konami might like might just do. Yeah, Summon Sorceress, I would say should get banned because it's that broken. But it's not yet. It's not going to get banned yet. Semi-limited. Uh, I, I don't, like, Dark Hole. I think every trap card should become semi-limited or uh, just completely, uh, like, okay. not even on the ban list. Make sure you be careful when you say that. When you say every trap card. Oh, sorry, my bad. Except for floodgates. <laughs> every trap card. Like, like every, like, yeah, like, royal oppression like, on that card. Yeah, that could definitely stay where it is in yeah. jail forever. <laughs> like, you see jail? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> That's a good yeah, one. Like, you could bring, like, warning to three, book to three. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no one's going to play a bunch of that stuff anyways. Yeah. Like, That's all those cards, they're such fair cards. Book of Moon's one of the fairest cards ever. Yeah, Book of Moon should go to three. It should go to three for sure. A bunch of cards. There's so many cards like that. Yeah, like, 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 like I I feel like they're slowly bringing those like those limited cards back off the balance, like last balance. Like even put, Ring of Destruction's at two. Like who's yeah. even playing Ring of Destruction? Yeah. Like like they, like, they, like they put Compulse back to three, yeah. Bombers back to three, Trenchro back to three. The stuff would have been fire five years ago, but like but it's now, not five it's, years ago. The, the format has changed. So yeah. like for example, if if you're gonna like uh, what is it like Trenchro, uh, uh, like you know a board full of floaters, like okay good, yeah, cool. You know, cool, you know like they float anyways. Yeah. Uh, so you know yeah so yeah so for semi limited I I I I really don't have the we have much to talk about, but for for no longer on the list at three, Maxi. 
Stop, bro. Maxi. No. I really think, personally, for playing, playing in the OCG, I think that card is the most fairest card nah, in the entire Maxi game. Maxi can never see the no, light of day no. ever again. Maxi is the most never. completely fair and balanced card ever. If you guys ever play in the OCG, you guys will understand exactly what I mean. No. Uh, base Lolly, he knows. He, <laughs> he, uh, he knows. He knows. Um, three Maxis. It's either you have zero Maxis or three Maxis. Or zero. You know why? You know why? Because... In, in OCG, I have a maxi, you have a maxi. And now it's just a skill game. You maxi me, okay. There's and a lot draw, of skill, I like maxi. you draw two maxi and I draw zero. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, okay, you're right. It makes bad decks like Trickstars better. Because if they draw maxi, they can stop my turn. And then do garbage 4,000 damage, burn me for garbage 2,000, and then play another maxi and I can't play it and they win. It lets bad decks. You're right. Okay. That's okay. why I don't like it. Okay. Well, well you get well. sacked by some scrub. You could be playing round two at some event. Why is he has to get some scrub? You're million times better than this guy, but he happens to draw three maxis. You happen to draw zero. Yeah, but he and happens to draw. But he happens to draw three maxis. He not. happens to draw three maxi and then he has no combo starters or no or no starter cards for his deck, and then you have all combo starters. You just kill him. But he'll draw uh, draw them by playing maxi. <laughs> you know, like it's too good. It stops your turn, and you could draw fifty million. It's okay. actually too powerful. Okay, okay, maybe Maxi can come back in the meta. The only no. way I would think I'd be okay with not slapping uh, any person that brings a Maxi to three co, co money. Please don't do this. The only way I'd be happy with it is if Firewall stays. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's stays. fair. Okay. If if Goki's still alive or a, a combo based deck is still alive, Maxi can come back. And what's grave. sad about that? Sure, Maxi. Sure, call by the grave. You're right. Like. You know, I, like, I don't want to deal with no, that card no, no, anymore, bro. No, no, that's really good. I, I, I think personally, Maxi at three is fair because everyone has a chance to see Maxi. And there's always many ways to counter it, like Ash Monster and also Call of the Grave. But yeah, Steven, yeah. I, I understand where you're coming from. If Firewall is still alive, obviously Maxi should definitely come back. Every balance, a few cards come out that was banned. Like what? What? Ga oh, gateway to three. Yeah. Ga <laughs> gateway to three, bro. Let's go. Ga gateway to three. Let's go. Please, Konami, that card. Let's go. You have so many cards to stop that card. You have Twin Twisters. You have Ghost Soldiers to stop. You have, uh, you have so many cards can actually counter that card. Yo, bro, if gateway insane. comes to three, let's make, let's. Uh, yo, if it yeah, yeah, comes to three, yeah, yeah. I'm playing six Sam. Yeah, yeah. Gateway comes to three, me and you. Yo, I'm, yo, again, six Sam God, six Sam Disciple. Yo, listen. Let's go to every YCS if, with it, bro. Bro, I'm, yo, if gateway comes back to three, I'm ensuring you I am putting extra link every single hand. <laughs> I already made video I already had combos already with three gateway. Okay? Opening up just two six samurais with three gateways. Extra U link. Immediately. So Konami bro, do yourself a favor. Do your you know, if you want your six samurai fans to come back. Bro, six and samurai rise. Bro, that was my first deck, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. You're spec'd. Bro, a what? bunch of cards that people used to play a lot. What? I honestly see Magician coming back to three. Why not Magician? And I honestly see Dragonfly coming to three. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, you know, like those older decks, if they actually want to those push. can be good. If those decks go off, they're good decks. It's game over, They're bro. both better than Brick Stars, but putting it to three it can actually make it relevant. I make it actually like tier two legitimately give you a chance against good decks like Pendulums, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steven, you're too much. Your Pendulums is a... So... All right, so next format, and also like you know, addressing Firewall Dragon again. I don't know if you've seen the new um, the new Cyber supports. Uh, well, yeah, relevant cards. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that, that card has a two card extra link with Firewall. Two card, like said, Goki, most consistent, very consistent. Wanna what else has a two card extra link? Depends zombies. On. Are zombies relevant? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If we're missing anything. Leave in the comment section below. We're definitely gonna, you know, read the comments. And guys, Steven needs to get to ten thousand subscribers. Yes, guys, yo, I'm at 9,560. I would love for you guys to go subscribe to my channel, Trip Gaming, it's gonna be in the description below. I wanna get 10,000, I'm releasing a sick giveaway at 10,000, so okay. subscribe. Okay, awesome, guys. So, so that's Trip Gaming in the description box below. This is by far one of the funnest discussions I actually ever had. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And Steven, yo, this is the funnest video I actually ever did in a while, man. Very fun, you know, Steven's very energetic. I recommend you guys, if you guys love videos, combo videos. Uh, yo, bro, you've been doing a lot of different decks, other pendulums now. Yeah, bro, Cosmos, I'm trying to... I, I, I see you, you know, doing really well with your channel, so... Bro, I'm trying to evolve. I don't want to... I'm the pen god, but I want to evolve. To, I, I, to every god. I'm the Yu-Gi-Oh god, bro. Oh, shit. I want to ask him before we go. Do you know the guy that uh, that won Worlds this year? The guy that played Trick Stars? Are you better than him? Every single person that went to Worlds, I'm disappointed in you. How do you let Brick Stars win Worlds? How bad are you? Alright guys, I'm not disrespecting right, you guys. Alright guys, this is Sam from Team Zara, help with Team. Let's go. Alright guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute.
Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deal with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it, like, no, no, this league.